I knew I didn't need sleep, but I guess I can't sleep even when I want to. <laughs> I wonder if Dr. Weird could use a sleep spell on me. Billy put me to sleep with a nerve pinch once. But they're already asleep. I'd hate to wake them up. I guess I should just go ahead and get up. I sure hope this doesn't keep the apple from working on me. I'll just turn on the light and do some practice. If the apple didn't work, I wonder if Dr. Weird and Donner will be mad. And that elf queen, Lily. I guess it's just as well that uh, I didn't win Eris's contest. I wonder what Bigfoot did with his apple. Okay, brain. Shut up and focus. If I ever want to be good at kung fu again, I'm going to have to train like I never have. Oh my gosh! I remember! I remember everything! I still don't know how I do this, but I can do it again! Lee, it's two in the morning. Why are you making all this noise? Charlie, it, is that you? Of course it's me. Oh, wow, I got a tan. Well, I wouldn't call it a tan, but you're not as pale as you usually are. But it's not just that. Look, you have muscles. Wow! This is cool! Golden apples are better than gym memberships! Well, gym memberships only work if you go to the gym. Well, now I gotta know, what were you yelling about? I remembered all the stuff that I learned from the teaching machine. I know kung fu, I can drive, I can camp and cook, and, and somehow I can call my nunchucks and use them without my costume. How did you learn that from the teaching machine? I don't know. But I did it in China, and now I can do it again. Many Volsung develop a bond with their favorite weapon that has nothing to do with the teaching machine or the apple. Do you sleep in those clothes? No, I used a spell to change. Now, I know you're excited, but everyone else needs some sleep. If you can't sleep, then do some quiet studying. Yes, sir. I'll try just one more time to get some sleep. A few hours later. Good morning, world. I feel great. A lot better than I usually do when I first wake up. Dr. Weird said the apple would let us understand all languages. I gotta go see if I can talk to Kitty in Chinese. Hey, Kim, check this out. Oh my gosh, Shelly! That's cool! Did the apple do that? Well, duh, I never did anything like that before. I wonder if I can do it. Give it a try. Here goes. Uh, Kim, I, I don't know what you're doing, but that's not what I did. You made a force field. That is so freaking cool! Oh my god, Kitty, you look adorable! Yeah, I was gonna tell you, she is the cutest thing! You guys are creeping me out. And you talk so good! So you get a force field, Shelly can change your appearance, and I'm just cute as the dickens. I think you got dealt the best hand. Oh, This is gonna get old quick. Kitty, look! I'm a cat girl! I'm a cat girl! We're cat girls together! I'm so happy! Kathy? <laughs> it's the best day ever! No one has ever been this happy in the whole history of the world! Well, they ain't been this loud anyway. Sharon, what did the apple do for you? I think it made me a witch. A witch? Yeah, look, I can move stuff around just by waving my hand. I'm like Yoda or something. 
That's called telekinesis. Oh my gosh, Kitty, you are so freaking cute! Oh my gosh, I gotta make a video about this. Mike, Al, and I can't tell what special powers the apple gave us. Well, I'm sure Dr. Weird has a way to find out. That's what I'm hoping. Kathy, are you going to be a cat girl from now on like, like Kitty? Or can you change back and forth like Mike? I don't know. I bet my mom will want me to change back. Cool, you can change back. Where are your cat ears? I didn't put them on this morning because I had real cat ears. Does your mom not like cat girls? Hello, students. The first thing we're going to do today is take a trip to Gordon's magic shop to find out what the golden apples have done for each of you. We'll go right after breakfast. Aw, he didn't say anything about how cute I am. Yeah, you're cute. That don't mean I'm going to bring you food to you. You want to eat, you got to come get it. He's going to run over somebody. Wow, Lily was really feeling generous. You didn't tell me you were uh, going to fill up my whole shop. Last time I saw this many immortals together, I was in Alpine. Gordon, there are a lot of worlds inhabited by immortals. Yeah, but I don't get out much. Okay, guys, we have a seer here to talk to each of you, one at a time. She's not some lame fortune teller or medium, she's for real, and she's going to read your auras. Don't ask her questions about your future, or... You, you know what? Don't ask her nothing, just listen. She'll tell you what you need to know. And if you ask her questions, you'll probably make her mad. She's not a fortune teller. Hello, Mom. Gordon didn't tell you my name. You can call me Cora. Have a seat and give me your hand. No, I'm not a palm reader, but I can see your aura more clearly if I touch you. I know why you're here, and I won't waste your time. The golden apples greatly enhanced your evocation and abjuration spells, powers suited to your vocation as a superhero. Also, Kitty is now your familiar, so your spells will be stronger when she is near. Your sonic powers have been enhanced. You can surround yourself with a protective sound barrier and blast many foes at once with a sonic boom. But be careful, your barrier will only block solid weapons and sonic attacks, nothing else. And your sonic boom will wear you out quickly. You are a master of many skills because you have remembered all that the teaching machine once taught you, but you remain free from its programming. I knew that teaching didn't have to be mind control. You are no longer a Volso, but an Asgardian, and you have become what you always wanted to be, a holy paladin kung fu Jedi knight. You really fed your imagination. Asgardian? You instinctively know how to use all electronic devices, and you're a living battery with unlimited power. Any electrical device you use will stay charged as long as it's in your hands. But remember, if you try to push a device beyond its own capacity, you will short it out. You're a cat girl. Is it all you dreamed it would be? Also, you can talk to cats and understand them. Congratulations! You're a very lucky young lady. Your aura of extreme cuteness will trigger a protective response from all warm-blooded creatures, and the gift of healing that you already had is now much stronger. In addition to healing injuries, you can remove many other harmful effects from people and animals. The apple has made you a superior master of ninjutsu. You can move with great speed, run up walls and across water, disappear into the shadows and summon your ninja weapons and tools. Also, that magical ring is now bound to you, so you can summon it too. You can change your appearance, your clothes, and your voice. You can mimic the appearance of others or make up your own look. 
No matter how you change your appearance, you will always be the same person inside. Hello, Melissa. I remember seeing you in my dreams. You've had a lot of adventures, haven't you? Well, you're not a little Volsung anymore. Now you're an Asgardian, and your control of dreams is much greater. You can put people to sleep and manipulate their dreams without having to go into them. You can make people talk or walk in their sleep, and they will follow your directions. Your power is in your music. Your guitar is bound to you so you can summon it. Your music can change the mood of those who hear you, making them happy or sad, bold or afraid. Your music can communicate with animals and spirits, and you can use it to aid and heal your friends. You already know about your power, and know you're not a witch, but you should also know that the golden apple always carries a blessing of good fortune, fitness, and charm, not just for you, but for all who eat it. So remember, anytime you compete with mortals, you will have an unfair advantage. We are supposed to help them, not compete with them. You are the strongest member of your team and you can shrug off the most powerful attacks. But be careful, you are far from the best fighter. Don't be too eager to test your abilities. Okay, now that we have a clear idea what all of you are capable of, it's time for Paladin's Pals to go after the Shadow Dragon Society. The rest of you stay here for now, and we'll discuss your futures when we return. Hey, Doc. Why are you calling us Paladin's Pals? I thought we decided to go with the X-Men. I'm sorry, that name is already taken. So we never really got around to picking an official name, and Shelly called us Paladin's Pals on her show. Well, I don't think any of us really like that name. Can we pick a new one now? Of course we can. Since we've all received power from the Golden Apples, may I suggest a name that makes a reference to that? How about the Golden Apple Guardians? That's too long. The Golden Heroes? The Golden Guardians. Team Gold? Oh, that's such a cute name. Team Gold. That is just adorable. That's it then. Let's, Let's go, go Team Gold. gold. I think I'm going to have fun with this. Goodbye!